everybody, today I'm gonna to show you how to create an AV test on your website using. God damn. Should I just keep rolling? Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to show you how to create an AV test using Google Optimize on your website. Now before we get started, why are A-B tests so important to marketers? Basically, we use A-B tests to figure out which variations on a web page is going to either increase a conversion or change a metric. By conversion, I mean sales, leads, email signups, anything like that. And by metrics, I mean improving your bounce rate or even improving average session time among many other metrics that we can measure. So there's pretty much three types of A-B tests. The first is a standard A-B test where you're testing one or two variations within a design to see what the effect is going to be. That could be the color of a add to cart button, or it could be something like the wording on your website. A multivariant test is another form of A-B testing that's actually changing out two or more sections on your site and seeing how those sections when they are taken out, which can be a feature, which can be a pricing table, anything like that, uh, affects conversion rate or the metric that you're measuring. And the last one is when you want to, uh, when you want to actually test two completely different web pages, and that's called a redirect test. And essentially, you tell the system that one set of users are going to get one of the variations or the variation, and the second set of users is going to get the control group, which is. Um, the web page that is staying the same or the variation or the module that's staying the same and you then measure um, what the activity is and then with the Google Optimize system you can then figure out which combination is the winning one for you. So we're actually going to get started and I'm going to show you guys how you can set up a Google Optimize A-B test, specifically a URL redirect test. Cool. All right, perfect. So basically, I'm going to assume that you've already installed Google Optimize, and Google Optimize is a free tool, so anybody can get it and put it onto their website. Once you do that, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is actually create an experiment. You can already see that I have a few running right now, um, but I'm gonna create a new one for one of our new web development landing pages. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Create an Experiment. We're gonna name the experiment Web Development Test. And now what you have to do is put in a URL of the site that, of the link that you want to test. So my control right now is our current web development page. Um, We're gonna go do a redirect test in this case. I'm gonna create the experiment. And now a new dashboard is actually gonna show up. And the first thing that I recommend you do uh, before you actually start editing all these settings is make sure that you run a diagnostic on your website. Make sure that what's going on is that you're, it, make sure that the plugin is actually installed. In this case, you can see that here on our website, there's no major issues. And go back to the experiment and make sure everything runs smooth. Um, great, so now the first thing I wanna do is create my variant. In this case, um, the variant is going to be a different URL that shows our new page. Um, so in this case, let me just get to it right now. I was editing it before in WordPress. Cool, this is our new page. And I'll explain the test in a minute. Name variant one or yeah, that's fine, we can just do a variant one. You can have actually multiple variants, but in this case, what I'm going to actually do is keep uh, just one variation because I only have one page to actually test. Now, let me kind of explain um, my test right now. So right now we have a web development landing page. It's okay, uh, it leads to a case study, which is really great, but and a testimonial and even to our contact page, but it doesn't give enough context into our process that's actually pretty complex. So instead, what we're doing is we created a new um, web development page that first you can get to a bunch of our services, um, the people that we've worked with, um, the reason why we do what we do, um, and even our process. And that was really important for us that users understood our process as well as some frequently asked questions to kind of mitigate um, people wondering about what we do, as well as the platforms that we're working with. And basically, the idea is this. We believe that this type of a landing page is going to increase session time, it's going to decrease bounce rates, and ultimately we'd love to see increase in form submission conversions. So that being said, let's get to our objectives because that's kind of what I just stated. 
Uh, I'm gonna actually choose from a list because I have a few that's already imported from my Google Analytics, Analytics account. So the first is uh, form fillouts. And then I can have some secondary objectives. So I'm gonna do bounce rate or Sorry. Oh yeah, bounce rate and then session duration. I don't know why that took me so long. And pretty much I'm gonna also have a description of, of what I want to happen or a hypothesis. So we are going to increase form fillouts, session duration, which in our case is fine. In, in some cases you want to decrease session duration, but really we're informational based on our service. So we want that to kind of increase so that they're getting the right type of information. And we want to decrease the bounce. Okay. Now the last thing I'm going to do, um, or a few thing, more things I'm going to do actually, uh, is the variation weight. In this case, I'm pretty confident in my in my variation, so I'm actually going to do a 75, 25% split. And what that means is 25% will get the original really stagnant web page, and 75% will get the new landing page, and then we'll kind of measure off those metrics. Um, another thing is to the right of uh, the variation split, we can do a preview option. So we can preview it uh, within a bunch of devices if we, if we feel fit. Um, and you can just make sure that everything looks okay. Now, the last thing I'm going to actually do is targeting. So targeting is really important because you want to actually tell the system when to run the test. In this case, I'm doing a URL match on page load to the control uh, URL. Uh, it can also be evaluated on different types of metrics like a custom event, um, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. I think that's a little bit more complicated. So once this is all done, we click save. And when everything is good, this is a draft, we can either create a schedule or I can start my experiment. In this case, I'm gonna start my experiment. And now what the system is gonna automatically do is send different people to different web pages and it's gonna measure everything for me. Um, so let's just try this out. So might have to clear my cookies because it does actually remember who the user is. So in this case, 75% of the time, I just typed in uh, the original URL and what I got was is the brand new web page. So now the system's going to actually measure all the performance metrics that I put in place and now I'm gonna get a nice report to doing that. So pretty much that is how you set up an A-B test in Google Optimize. Uh, specifically, that was a URL redirect. I definitely recommend you guys checking out this product. And if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer your questions uh, in the comments below. And uh, we'll get you guys all hooked up and you guys can start measuring everything. Thanks guys. Thank you.